Hi, welcome. Sometimes you may want to make a realistic texture for the human skin in Substance Painter or ZBrush or Blender and other software, but the result is not realistic. Maybe you need some details and tips to add realism to the skin. In this video, I will introduce some necessary details and tips to make your skin more realistic. So stick around until the end. If you're interested in learning the latest 3D techniques, particularly in Blender, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Here I have a realistic texture in Substance Painter designed for human skin. You can watch the tutorial here that I explain how I made this skin texture and also the link is in the description. But I added some extra details. I want to share these tips and details with you. I will start with the bottom layers to top and activate and deactivate the details to see the differences. And also I'll explain how to add them. The first one is the wings. Wings are the necessary components for a human skin. For example, let's activate it and see the differences. As you can see, some uh, extra details has been added here. And as you can see, we don't have it. They're too small, but it has a big impact on the result. So how I made this layer. The technique is to adding a color a fill layer with uh, the color channel only and pick a purple or another color with red tone and then I use this brush I will introduce here cracks provided by Substance Painter. You need to add a black mask and add a paint layer to the mask and paint on the skin with this or this even and see the references the human skin references and paint on the skin based on your references the next tip is uh, black dots these black uh, micro dots micro details on the skin here as you can see this is a simple uh, fill layer uh, with the color channel which you need to add black mask and use this dots erased provided by substance painter and paint on some areas for example nose and these areas but uh, some kind of humans have more dots on their skin for example black people has more uh, dots on the skin or even uh, British people but you need to pay attention to the references and the skin type you want to design the next tip and the necessary tip is uh, some black ambient color on some areas for example this and this here provided by this layer as you can see it's look like the ambient occlusion but on the face and you need to add these areas manually simply add a fill layer with a color channel and black mask and uh, you can paint on everywhere you want with with using basic soft brush easily the next layer is wet areas that you may think uh, the only wet area on the uh, face is lip but uh, you're wrong wet areas related to uh, nose as you can see here in the eye here and also the air some areas that doesn't have a hard surface type are more wet than other areas so you need to paint on them here we need a fill layer with only the roughness channel and a small value of roughness and then adding a black mask and also the paint layer and paint on everywhere you want for example this 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 and this and also the lips the next layer has a big impact on the result this layer let's see as you can see it has a great result 
Actually, this layer is a roughness layer that uses the cavity texture. Here we have a roughness uh, with this value, it's the metal value of roughness, and you need to add a black mask and then add a curvature, which you can right click and add a generator. And you need to pick up the curvature modifier, it will use curvature texture or cavity texture. Then you need to go to the texture set settings and the bake mesh textures, you need to bake the curvature on the surface. I've explained it in this tutorial here and the link is in the description. You can watch the full tutorial of making uh, the skin texture. And then it will uh, assign it to the curvature modifier automatically. And then you need to add a filter, a uh, blur filter, to add some blur to the uh, layer below. For example, as you can see, there's some differences with blur. The final tip is related to specular. Specular is a distribution of the light on the surface. Here I have a specular fuller that I can assign which uh, areas should reflect the light. Here, as you can see inside the nose, I don't have the light reflection with this layer. In the real world, we have this effect. In the nose, in the ear, let's see, and some other areas that light can't pass through inside them. With these details and these small changes, you can add realism to your skin. Also, if you want a tutorial on making realistic lips, texture, and also the tips on adding details on the surface in ZBrush before the texturing section, you can say in the comments. And also, if you know other techniques and tips to add realism to the skin texture you can share in the comments thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and feel free to share your questions and ideas in the comments